By the end of this lesson, you should be able to solve problems involving reflection of light. All questions in this lesson are based on reflection of light. The examples in this lesson show how to apply the laws of reflection in problem solving. In some cases, we need to use the properties of the image to work out the correct answers. A man holds a small mirror 0.50 meters in front of his eyes. The mirror is 0.32 meters high and in it he sees the image of a tall building behind him. If the building is 95 meters behind the man, what is the vertical height of the building, H, that can be seen in the mirror? Comparing the corresponding sides of the two similar triangles, H over 0 0.32 equals to 95 plus 0 0.5 over 0 0.5. H equals to 95.5 times 0 0.32 over 0 0.5 equals to 61.12 meters. If the man moves the mirror closer to his eyes, does the value of the vertical height of the building, H, increase, decrease, or stay the same? Ex From the formula for finding H, when the denominator values decreases, H increases. When the mirror is moved nearer to the eyes, the value a bigger portion of the building will be seen by the man. A ray of light strikes a mirror and is reflected so that the angle between the incident and the reflected beam is 60 degrees. If the mirror is rotated to increase the angle of incidence by 5 degrees, what is the new angle between the incident and the reflected beams? When the mirror is rotated so that the angle of incidence is increased by 5 degrees, the angle of reflection also increases by 5 degrees. According to the law of reflection of light, angle of incidence equals to angle of reflection. 30 degrees plus 5 degrees equals to 30 degrees plus 5 degrees. Therefore, the angle between the incident and the reflected beam equals to 70 degrees. If instead the mirror is rotated to decrease the angle of incidence by 5 degrees, what is the new angle between the incident and the reflected beams? When the mirror is rotated so that the angle of incidence is decreased by 5 degrees, the angle of reflection also decreases by 5 degrees. According to the law of reflection of light, angle of incidence equals to angle of reflection. 30 degrees minus 5 degrees equals to 30 degrees minus 5 degrees. Therefore, the angle between the incident and the reflected beam is 50 degrees. A boy is standing 2.5 meters in front of a plane mirror. His eyes are 1.4 meters above the floor. How far is the boy from his image? Distance between the boy and his image equals to 2 times 2.5 meters equals to 5.0 meters. Draw light rays to show how he sees his head and his feet. How high should the bottom of the mirror be from the floor if he could only manage to see his feet?
By the law of reflection of light, the angle of incidence is equal to the angle of reflection. That is, I is equal to R. The bottom edge of the mirror is 0 0.7 meters above the floor. If the boy moves behind 1.5 meters from the mirror, can he still be able to see his feet? Since I is equal to R, the height of the mirror above the floor is still 0 0.7 meters. Therefore, he still sees his feet. An object is placed in front of a concave mirror at different distances. The table shows the characteristics of the images formed for the object at different positions. Using the information in the table, can you determine the focal length of the concave mirror? Give a reason for your answer. The focal length of the concave mirror is 10 centimeters because when object distance is 10 centimeters, which is also the focal length, the image formed is at infinity. What are the characteristics of the images formed when the object is 25 centimeters from the mirror and when it is at infinity? When the distance of the object from the mirror is 25 centimeters, the image is real, inverted, and diminished. When the distance of the object from the mirror is at infinity, the image is real, inverted, diminished, and formed at the focal point. Draw a ray diagram to show the formation of the image when the object is 5 centimeters from the concave mirror. If the concave mirror is replaced with a convex mirror, which has a focal length of 10 centimeters, draw a ray diagram to show the formation of the image of an object placed at a distance of 20 centimeters from the convex mirror. What are the characteristics of the image formed? The image formed is virtual, upright, and diminished. 